Hey, Facebook. <clears throat> I really like me today because my voice is kind of wanting to go out on me again. Um, I'll wait just a second to let you get on here so you can hear everything. Um, the Lord gave me a word early this morning when I woke up. Um, many of you that are on my friends list um, seen the video that I had posted uh, about my son last night at his ball game. Well, I just want to tell you what happened, okay? So, Taylor was standing on, he was the outside, the middle linebacker on the outside, and the guy started running around on the opposite side of where Taylor was. And he was just running his little heart out. And uh, that he broke. The guy hit the line and he broke. He took off running. But see, Taylor, he's a power back. That's what they call him. He's a power back. And so uh, he took off and he was chasing this kid because he was going to stop the touchdown. Well, these little boys that was in front of Taylor was just running so hard. They were giving it everything they had. And uh, even, even if they didn't know they couldn't reach this kid, they still gave it everything they had. Well, out of nowhere, here comes Taylor. Buddy, he turned them little wheels on, and he was gone. He came right in between them, and he ran so fast, and he got that kid and kept him from scoring the touchdown. And God woke me up so early this morning. And all I could see was Taylor passing those two kids up. It's nothing about my son, but it's about what God showed me through my son. He's called the power back. See, last Sunday morning, I preached in Kentucky, and God spoke to me, and he told me to tell the people there was a power outage in the land. We have became so self-absorbed, there's no power outage. There's no power source. It's a power outage we're in. So God spoke to me this morning and he said, I'm your power back. Let me give your power back. And this is where we mess up. You see, those two kids, they could have gave up and not got that kid because they knew that that kid was faster than they were and they couldn't reach him. They could have gave up. They could have let him score. Although we were winning the game. They could have, he could have scored, you know, it wouldn't have been a big hurt because we were still going to win, blah, blah, blah. You know, these kids could have made every excuse to give up, but they didn't. They kept on running. They kept on pursuing. They kept on going. And that, that spoke to me, my, my gosh, that spoke to me so strong because if we will do what we can, all we can. God promises that he would do what we can't. And see them little boys did all they, all they could. But the power back came and helped. When we do all we can, our power source, God, will do what we can't. And see, although Taylor busted through them and he kept on, see, they knew that if Taylor got him, that he would take him down. They knew that if Taylor could get this kid, that he would be taken down. But see, they didn't give up. They didn't stop when Taylor passed him by. They kept on running just in case assistance was needed. You see, a lot of times when we see our brother or our sister going on, I'm just going to be real, what I feel right now in my spirit. When we see our brother or our sister going on and God using them and God using them and God using them, that don't mean we sit back and we give up and we don't do what we're supposed to be doing because they might need our assistance in prayer. They might need our assistance, amen, because their anointing ain't like our anointing. Your anointing ain't like my anointing. And the people that you can reach, I can't. The people I can reach, you can. Amen, that's why we're called a body. That's why we're to work together. Amen, but see, just because Taylor passed them by, them boys that was in the front, they didn't stop. They might have slowed down because they was tired, but they never quit running. They never stopped pursuing. And even though they knew that Taylor took him down, they still kept on. God is telling his people this day that if we will continue to run, no matter if we're tired, no matter if we don't look like we can make it, no matter if we can't tackle what's in front of us, if we will continue to press on and do everything that we possibly can, our power back 
back is going to bust through. He's going to do what we can't, and he's going to take us, amen, and he's going to shut down the plan of the enemy. He's not going to let the enemy win. He's not going to let the enemy score, amen. We've got to know who our power supply is. We've got to know who our power back is, amen. We can't allow this land go on with continue having a power shortage, amen, because nothing will happen. We receive two I, two more miracles that taken place, amen, in our building, in our church, from the body of Christ, praying and believing, amen, a woman that was being sick with high blood pressure, we got a testimony yesterday, amen, that she went back to the doctor, and it was fine, it was normal, amen, it was normal, the power supply had stepped in, because she didn't give up, she kept pressing on, amen, then we had another one come this morning and give another testimony, hallelujah, of how she had a big ulcer sore in her foot from diabetes and the doctor said that if it kept on they might have to cut it off amen praise be to god we prayed over her we anointed a rag and gave it to her amen and god closed that hole up he touched her body amen he healed her body from the inside out because she did not give up i'm here to tell you if you will not give up and if you will continue to press on hallelujah i don't care if you don't think you can make it amen i don't care if you think that you can't tackle what it is in front of you. Hallelujah. But if you would keep pressing on, my God in heaven's a power supply and he will meet you. Amen. When you, my God, when you feel like you can't go on any further, God will step in and he will do everything you can't. You be blessed today, Facebook, and don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep running. Keep promising. You keep doing what you can everything you can even when you feel like it may not be much you still do it you still do it because that's what God wants he wants us to give him our best he wants us to fight he wants to pursue with everything inside of us amen don't give up have a blessed day, Facebook. If you don't have nowhere to be, I encourage you to come to our church tonight. Amen. First Lady Brooke Craig is giving the word. Amen. And I feel like God is really seizing her for this time. God is going to bring forth the mighty word. And if you need a deliverance, amen, if you need a healing, come to the house. Amen. Because we know that the signs and wonders are following them that believe. We've seen it time after time after time just within the last few weeks god is doing something mighty amen and if you can't make it with us tonight be praying for us that god will just have his perfect will be done amen and i'm praying for you amen that if if you're going somewhere to a church i pray that god would bless it in an abundant overflow be blessed today in jesus name hallelujah